Sitting in her Fort Myers beach home, Sydney Sewell looks through old photographs of her son and two grandsons horsing around the house, filling her home with love and laughter. But now, those are only memories after someone violently robbed her of her young son, shooting him in his own car as he drove through a neighborhood in Harlem Heights in October 2010. This was so senseless. I mean, for whatever reason, my son was over there. He did not deserve to die. He did not deserve to be taken from me, taken away from his children. Referred to by family members as three, Clyde Sewell was a 34-year-old dad in the prime of his life, raising two boys and enjoying success in the heavy construction industry. But on one fateful night to see a friend, his trip got cut short by several bullets fired into his new truck. Detectives say there were several people in the area who witnessed the murder that night. A few came forward and provided some information as to what transpired that night and who was involved, but the majority of people decided to just keep their mouths shut. Now Clyde's mom is coming forward and begging the community to provide whatever information they have to get her son's killer off the streets. Sydney Sewell said her son left the house the night of his murder with just over $80 in his pocket. To this day, she's still in the dark as to what transpired and what would motivate someone to kill a well-rounded father who, for the record, had no history of drug use. I just want to know why. Explain to me why you had to kill him. You know, for $80, did you need the money that bad? Sewell maintains a collection of photos and trinkets that remind her of her son every day. Like a bracelet she wears faithfully, each charm reminding her of something special that she and her son shared. She also maintains faith that the man who killed her son will eventually be brought to justice, and that's a stance she won't back down from. To help encourage someone to come forth with the truth, she's even offering a $10,000 reward for the arrest and conviction of the man responsible. It's a price tag she's more than willing to pay for justice for the whole left in her family's heart. $80. I'd have gladly given him all the money he wanted not to kill him. For Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers, I'm Trish Rout.